Hey everybody, this is Daryl, aka The D from the Simply Incredible Podcast. And I put out my video yesterday for um, the haul that we picked up at the show in Charlotte. And then I forgot to put what we picked up at Rebel Base Toys and Comics or Comics and Toys. I can't remember the exact name of it, but down there in Charlotte. If you're ever there, definitely look up Rebel Base. It's really, really a good shop. Um, so, uh, here's what Ricky got, and then I'll be back with what I got. All right, I hope you like that. What, what Ricky got some really cool stuff as usual. Uh, he loves his Transformers and GI Joe stuff, so that is awesome. And again, sorry about that. Now here's uh here's my haul. Uh, we'll start out with a couple of posters I picked up. Uh, they had a, a discount on these, and I, I assume they probably get these free. I don't know, but I I don't know if you can see it. Uh, this one is which one is this one? Uh, the Web of Black Widow. The reason I haven't opened up yet, I don't have any place to put them yet. And if I open them up, I don't have anything to actually put them in to uh, really keep them safe. And these are kind of hard to get them back in because they're so small. So hopefully I will get a, a holder for this. Again, this is Web of Black Widow. I assume this is issue one. It says 84621. So I don't know what code that is. But I just saw saw the saw it sitting there. I was like, uh, "Y'all selling these?" He's like, "Yeah, we're we'll selling." All right, cool, cool. And this one is uh, Absolute Carnage. You guys can see that. There you go, Absolute Carnage. What does that say? Uh, by Absolute Carnage by Ryan Stegman poster. Does it say who this one is by? Uh, that just says Web of Black Widow number one poster. So. Assume this is just like the regular A cover poster, but I really like those posters and you, you know, you can't really get them too much unless you, you know, beg and most of the time they're, they've got uh, tape on them or something where they've been put up, but that's cool to get them that way. Uh, now the comic haul, we'll start off with the new books that I picked up. They had a nice discount on things. So I picked up a bunch of stuff. Start off with uh, Batman number, what is that, 82. This is the Acetate A cover, which looks really, really cool. These are the, pretty much the first new books that I've really bought at a shop in a while. And I do like the, the cover on these. Got that Acetate cover, which looks really, really cool. So that's pretty cool. Yeah, I haven't even, uh, obviously, haven't even put them in bag and board yet. Put my posters right there. Next, I don't really know what this one is about, but I went ahead and got the A and B covers. Okay, this is the A cover for Last God from the uh, DC Black Label. So far, everything I've read out of Black Label has been amazing. So I went ahead and got the A and this is the B cover. So pick those up. There we go. Uh, next, picked up Harley Quinn. You guys knew I'd pick up this Harley Quinn. There we go. The Villain of the Year cover, which is awesome. I do like, I do like that cover. That is awesome. <laughs> oh, she, she didn't quote it. Uh, the Turtle, Scalabonga. <laughs> and on the inside, <laughs> that is awesome. Oh, crap. There we go. Harley Quinn. I actually picked up two of those because I am a Harley nut. We'll say that. <laughs> then I picked up the A covers on, or the B covers, excuse me, the Thanksgiving cover, which I thought was awesome. Remember last year they had the, um, the Halloween cover, which I thought was amazing. And this is absolutely awesome as usual. Uh, pretty, yeah, yep, yep, Frank Cho cover. I was pretty sure that was good old Frank Cho work. 
absolutely amazing. And of course I had to pick up a backup just because. Uh, next, the free issue Road to 100 Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. About to reach their 100th issue in IDW. So that's kind of cool. So that issue should be coming up. May actually already be out. I'm not sure. Now some back issues. They had a uh, half price on all these. I think they actually might have cut a little bit on the whole deal. I'm not sure. Probably not. Uh, uh, from IDW, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, number 22. I love this run of City Fall. I love these covers. So I've just been slowly putting together this little run of covers. Sometimes I can find them in dollar bins. Sometimes I uh, can't find them at all. So, uh, Old school Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Number... I can't tell what number it is. <laughs> really old. It's probably 86, 87. Somewhere in that ballpark. Go ahead and pick that up. Uh, 40, 40, yeah, somewhere, I think somewhere in the forties, just the way it's colored and with the background, it's hard for me to see it. Now, let's see these, let's put these in order. I think when they, they put them in, things just, uh, put them in, uh, put them in my bag backwards. So, sorry, I should have had this already pre-done. I was trying to complete my, uh, Uncanny X-Men run from issue 500 to 544 which i already have 544 which was really hard to find so um i'm trying to fill in that gap i think i'm still missing a couple of issues from that little group uh issue 504 there you go 507 there you go uh they had two 534s. Oh, wait, where is it at? Oh, well, I'll get to that one in a second. 532. Which this one I actually thought I already had, but uh, apparently is the one before this that has a similar cover. that One of the quarantine covers. Uh, what is this? 533. Love that Wolverine cover. Great looking stuff. Um, 534-1. Uh, they have 534-1 and they have 534. I thought I picked up both of them. Apparently I did not. Maybe I already had 534. I don't know. I just thought, like, that cover looks amazing. Looks absolutely amazing. Uh, next is 537. Okay. And they put the sticker right on her face. Uh, 538. There we go. Uh, 539. And I think this, out of all these covers, I gosh, I think this cover is great. I love this Wolverine cover. That is beautiful. Amazing, amazing art. That's, wow. Great cover. Great cover. Uh, 540. And by the way, they did not have 544, because if they did, I would have tried to pick up another one of those, because they're so hard to find. Uh, 530, uh, 541, right there, 542, and 543, so that, that put, took a big chunk out of that run that I was trying to get, and last but not least, I saw this on the wall, and he, and he was selling, so I was like, all right, I'll buy it, darn it. <laughs> uh, it is the poster for the new Harley Quinn on the DC Universe. Uh, I watched the first episode. I did not like it very much. And I actually saw it the night before going to the show. And I still bought this. <laughs> uh, you know, that's how much of a Harley fan I am. I, I'll probably get a little frame for that. There we go. I have Harley in here somewhere. So that is my haul. And you got to see Ricky's haul. Uh, thank you guys very much. Let me know if you like our videos where we're going to the shows and we're talking, just being complete idiots, because that's how we talk to each other all the time. Let me know if you guys like those videos, because we have fun doing them. And, and believe it or not, we're not making stuff up as we're going along, trying to 
Yeah, we, we're just goofy. We're just goofy. But <laughs> uh, that's all I got. And you guys, have an incredible day.